Video of a hammerhead shark thrashing around close to shore at Orange Beach has gotten a lot of attention this week. This video was posted on Facebook Monday. Yeah, that splashing around alerted uh, the, the people at the, in the water, and they quickly came on shore. The shark eventually settled down, swam back out into the Gulf. Well, here to talk about this video and about sharks and where they are, <laughs> Dr. Sean Powers, the chair of the Marine Sciences Department at the University of South Alabama, also a senior marine scientist at the Dolphin Island Sea Lab. We're glad to have you this morning. Oh, thank you. Tell us what you thought of when you saw that video. I mean, my first reaction was probably similar to everybody else. It's amazing. I mean, I've seen a lot of video, but that hammerhead and the way it moved so fast and it was so agile and so shallow of water, that's just really cool. What, really what cool. is it that makes this unusual? Well, it's unusual for us to see hammerheads uh, in this area come up. That behavior isn't unusual. Where you see hammerheads, they go into really, really shallow waters. But we don't have that many great hammerheads uh, in this region. So that, that's a good sign, actually, that, that many of those sharks populations are recovering after years and years of overfishing. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. What do we see in our area? If not hammerheads, we've got other sharks. So closer to the shore, uh, we see a lot of black tip sharks. That's probably the one the beachgoers would encounter most. Uh, a little further offshore, a lot of tiger sharks. So we have a lot of sharks off Alabama. Just hammerheads aren't one that's that common that we see that close to shore. And what what is the just thrashing around in the water like this? What is it just feeding? Is it uh... It is just feeding. So so hammerheads specialize on stingrays. Mm -hmm. So which is if you don't like stingrays, you want more more hammerheads there. But they'll <laughs> use that big hammer to pin down the stingray and eat them. So they they're really specialized for this behavior to look for stingrays. And, and you do find stingrays that will come close to shore like that. In oh, absolutely. Now, cases, stingrays yeah. will, and a lot of the reason they're coming close to shore is to avoid the sharks mm -hmm. that could eat them. So every now and then you get a hammerhead that <laughs> figures out, oh, I can go really shallow. But it's amazing to see how agile they are. Really and the is. people did the exact right thing, get, get out of the water. Getting shark attacks by hammerheads are extremely, extremely rare. Any shark attack is mm -hmm. rare. But by hammerheads, just because of the way their mouth is underneath them and the big hammer. But people did the right thing, being cautious and getting out of the water. Yeah, so, out of the way. Yeah, to get out of the way. And they did do that. That was one of the things that was really noticeable in that video is how the people reacted. If, if you see a hammerhead or any shark, you say, just get out. Just get out. Just, just give Don't them panic. their territory. <laughs> they're not going to stay long because they're, they're looking for stingrays or other fish and prey. And if they don't find it, they'll leave. Uh, all right. There you go. <laughs> Dr. Sean Powers, our guest, thank you for, for being here. We appreciate it very much. And congratulations on the new Marine Sciences School at USA. That's thank really you cool. very much. Cool very deal. cool stuff. We've got much more ahead here on WKRG 